Overgrown but healthy. We're just here to get our stuff back, you know. Yeah, know. Cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, right. And he said some dude came by earlier, a white old man with a white lady in a gray album, and they went way back there to the big plants, right? Oh, yeah. 
and they were talking about getting a tent, but they came by themselves without David Chow, and I okay. seen him on picture before, so I recognized him. Okay. He said if they come with him, let them take all their personal properties. But any plants on the ground that's on the ground that's real property, he okay. can't take. So okay, Other, cool. And and we got our stuff like the sleeping bag. Just me and my older brother here taking care of the property for him. That's our sleeping bag. Our like our stuff is in that room. Mm. That, uh, okay. But you can take all your stuff. That's yeah, in yeah, there. yeah, yeah. But besides the plants yeah. on the ground, but you ask me what right, you yeah. think, man. You should probably tell David that but, uh, thing about the plants too. Yeah, he. I tried to but, talk to him, okay. but he. So he He's just not here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To, Yeah. They're fucking, they let my salsa garden die. Oh my god. And they ripped all your shit out. Yeah. Legally, they're not supposed to do any of this at all. I was supposed to touch property for 30 days until the paperwork's done. You guys telling somebody you gonna kill somebody for? No, I ain't killed no, no, no. Well, what you guys telling my brother? You guys gonna he fucking said, shoot him for? He said no. He said whoever's no, helping no. Anthony's gonna get what? it too. Don't give me that bullshit. Yeah. Oh. That fucking camera on my face. Back out of the cage. Your page protects. Are you David? That's my property. Yeah. That's my property right over there. Okay, you were you're more than welcome to take your property, but what I'm no, saying. No, no, no. I paid rent, and it's paid, and it's gonna stay there until the rent is over with. Okay. Until you guys can prove you have a legal right to be here. Well, we have a grant deed. We have a grant deed with Mr. Vasquez's name on it, and that's why we took the job to stay here. And okie dokie. And we don't want any trouble. And we just we don't um, either. You know, we don't want any of our belongings that we have here taken, and we don't want well, any no, trouble. We, we want the same thing, and I just want myself. Are you David? Jones? Yeah, I'm David. Hi, hey. Deanna Garcia. 
How you doing? Okay, nice to meet you. We don't well, want any good. trouble. We don't want any violence. No. We understand that some of these belongings it's belong not, to different people that are here. <laughs> we understand that you were in charge, but what we're trying to say is we have our belongings here too, and we don't want our things messed with just like you didn't want your things messed with when you, you know, are going through yeah. this. Yeah. Right. From what right. we hear though, you're not even supposed to be on the property living this hard okay. in the first 15 or 30 days. So What's like. That? From what we hear, like you're not even supposed to be on the property and okay. changing it this much in the first 15 days. Okay, so but like, for um, by law, if there's an illegal eviction done, you have 15 days to come get your belongings. Mm -hmm. Oh no, okay. sir. Uh, 15 that law days. doesn't apply here. It does apply here because no, the grant not. deed has changed hands. No, the so changed So we, we understand. We understand. We have 15 days. That's what we've been told. Yes. Even though it's all illegal, but like. Uh, this is the 11th day and we've been trying to schedule this and so that's why and we had an appointment for now Okay as of yesterday, and then he canceled this morning or something, but okay. we're running out of time I so understand. Like, uh, I the, understand. I, rules, like I said, yeah. I've been a realtor yeah, for yeah. 15 years. I've been in property management for three Is I this understand. normal for the first week? For the first week usually this is not normal usually when we're in court we set up a date and then that person whoever is the the ex-tenant or the ex-owner then they make arrangements with the new owner and then they come and they pick up their stuff. And yeah, usually yeah. it happens within a week. Yeah, yeah. I've got to tell you that the original D owner is still the owner of the property and it says so in Mr. Vasquez's paperwork. Okay, you guys but I've are looked at Mr. Vasquez's right paperwork. Now. You are trespassing. No, sir, I'm no, sorry. No, you are. In I'm fact, sorry. I'm, I'm not sure the owner what of the property knowledge who has you have. been here for 40 years. Yes, but the bank is foreclosed. Is the only person that can verify, the bank can, foreclosed, can authorize it your, was sale. your presence it was here. For Otherwise, sale you are standing on, the on foul steps. ground. You are standing on contended property. You don't belong here. I belong here, sir. I've been hired by the new owner. Okay, it was there sold. There is no the, new owner. There is a new owner. I'm no, sorry. They bought, they bought a, a, they a fraudulent foreclosure that what, was how? issued to a person, a loan was issued to a person who has no attachment to this property. Yes, but that that's what real estate is about. So okay, we're, we're just here to get our stuff. Okay, um, mortgage ripoff. I understand like, that. Is there anything else we need to know or do? Like, just we're just going to take what's ours. You know? Don't mess with our belongings. We're not. We've never yeah, messed with yeah. your belongings in all the time that we've been here. Depends on the definition of property. Okay. <laughs> you mess with this land a lot in the last but 10 days. But the land has been sold. <laughs> and it, there is a new owner. And if for some reason, if you can go through all the red tape, oh, yeah. and if you can get your land the, back, the lawsuit, then, you the know, Mr. The Vasquez may sell it back to you. I'm just amazed. But I'm just amazed by the, the amount of this property has changed in the last 10 days. It's shocking. Yeah, because the it's new shocking. owner purchased it, and that's their <laughs> idea of, of different, yeah, beautiful yeah. is different when, than when what... When things are legal debate, you chop down the tree. Yeah. yeah. Oh, can I keep getting my stuff out, man? Can I keep getting my stuff out? Like, no. No? I didn't hear it. All, all my stuff's in my room in there, like. Wait for the police to come out. And then he'll let you in. Wait for the police to come out. Can you grab some of it? You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, good. What's going on, guys? Hey, if you guys came over, come over here and talk about they're going to shoot us and kill us and... This guy, oh, the one you, you, you come over here. Did he say you that? This guy right here. Yeah, he you good. guys, I want to talk. You yeah. guys talk to my partner. Come on. Yeah. Come over here. Okay. Okay. One dude comes in here with like some attitude and starts puffing his chest as we're getting our stuff. And who are these people here? Are they uh, part of the new owners? No, all these people are, are with me except for that lady and those two Mexican guys. Okay, what, what's their role here? Do you know what they're doing? Uh, one is a caretaker and the other one's, I don't know, some enforcer. Who for this Anthony or something guy? Like that. For this Anthony that's yeah. supposedly brought them? Right. Okay. So, as uh, my girlfriend's I didn't. in there, yeah. as my girlfriend's in there, um, uh, he says that he's going to rip the, the camera out of her hand, right? And then I come in uh, because she says that he's threatening her and going to rip the camera out of her hand. And I go, hey, what, what's, what's the problem? What, what's the deal? 
So anyway, I go inside um, as I'm trying to get stuff out of there and out of here and see what's here and there. And people are getting their stuff. So this guy says he's going to rip this uh, camera out of her hand uh, and, and threatens her uh, in this way. I come in there to see what's going on. And, and the other guy that just showed up, he just drives I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. I'm inside, I'm talking to the one guy that just drove in here real fast and just put his chest out as he said something to her, right? And then the other guy uh, just wails off and punches me like right here on the side. And I witnessed it. You guys are here to help him get whatever stuff he needs. Yeah. Move a little bit of his stuff. Make sure my trailer's okay. That's my fifth wheel down there. And we lease, we lease okay. part of the so property I, here. Okay. So as they're, as they're saying... They don't want no violence and this and that and everything. The dude sucked punches me from the side. Fine. No one else hit anyone he's, but that he's, guy. He's right fine. there. Don't want no uh, uh, witness the thing. I did. I'm gonna leave and let you guys get your stuff. And then he came back with someone else. The guy on the right is the one that sucked punched me. The one in the green shirt, yes. Okay, so other than him, you were okay with the other guy? And the other was okay. No, the other guy well, came no, down here huffing and puffing. Both of them. Was talking to him. A little bit of history on, on our feelings. Yeah. Um, so where, where's this um, supposed owner? Anthony. He's supposed to be here. Okay. Said one o'clock. You've been here before, correct? To get some stuff after? No, he hasn't no, let us. This is the first no, time. No, this is the first time. Our time is nearly up. About a week ago or so, where uh, described you and another a black guy, I think, that came to get some stuff. No, that no, was in, no. Uh, no, I was okay. driving on on the road. Okay. Okay. Oh my oh, god! Uh, but no, I haven't been down here to get any of my stuff. stuff I've been trying. Forty years worth of stuff. Oh, okay. Eight years. So a lot. Um, yeah. okay, you're not, not something you're gonna get done in 15 minutes. Huh? No, and they're trying to get us to. I'm trying to get it done. And, uh, two different sweeps in here. Okay. Get my personal stuff out right now, my clothes. Sure, sure. I understand. And work and stuff like that. And then I'm coming for the tools. I would say to avoid these, to get this. these conflicts, you, 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 that guy, Anthony, has to be present with you. Well, he won't so come down here. Answer, there's only 15 days. We got five days and left. He won't let us get anything. Uh, to meet yeah, and he's dodging my uh, phone calls. What happens then, after the 15 days? He gets to well, sell our shit. I'm supposed to be able to take my stuff to a storage place, and then I can get it from there. Oh, I see. Right. So, but uh, he's playing games along okay. those lines. Yeah. Uh, scheduled his appointment today. Okay. He's not here, trying to stall the thing out, and, and the dude is all uh, want to press he's charges. Uh, uh, he sucker punched me from the side, okay. which is a really cheap shot as far as that goes. It should be my book. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll be honest, I mean, it's a misdemeanor offense. You'll have to sign a private person to arrest against him. Um, basically, gets cited and released unless he does some warrants or something. I don't know what his deal is. Well, I'd like to um, press charges. Oh, really? Okay. And so I'm, I haven't even talked to my partner who's talking to him to see what kind of uh, story he has so that he may counter arrest you for the same offense. You know what I'm saying? I didn't touch he didn't him. do anything. Well, he I didn't mean, touch him at all, and I saw it. Everybody has a right to, to basically put a person in private person's arrested they say well he assaulted me and i have this witness around me. I, I just said he did so just bear in mind okay just bear in mind um, well, i've got to say the best thing to do from here on out is not to appear here by yourself without the owner well that's why i'm here with people and that's why I well scheduled i don't the mean by yourself that's why I scheduled friends of yours i mean the, the guy that's why I scheduled who owns, the appointment. okay but he's yeah. not here okay so right. obviously there's going to be conflict here Right. So no, if you I mean, really I, truly I, I want to avoid conflict, that. you will try to do it the best manner you can. Right. Otherwise, you're walking into a hoarder's nest and wondering why you're getting stung. Right. Am that's, I right or am I wrong? No, you're right. Okay. That's not what I'm trying to, to do. do. trying to call him but he's in church he was in church this morning we're telling him we're not we're not trying to withhold the stuff but they're threatening us there were no th verbal threats made sir okay. i'm talking with them See, what's so do if what they're doing either, with the cameras like if you're going to be there if you could just Isn't please be quiet while i talk to them thank you Okay. 
So what are you guys doing here? Uh, we're just watching the players and nobody comes and steals their stuff. All we're doing is watching their stuff. Okay, so you guys are kind of staying this, here? This is their stuff. Yeah, we're you know? staying here. That's Everything so here is theirs. Do you guys? Yeah. yeah. Is there, Everything. Is there anybody else from your guys' side? Of the no, community? just us right just here. here. And, and his wife. His wife does it. But this, we stay here. This is all their stuff here. They just got to make an appointment and come and get it. We're not trying to withhold nothing from anybody. Okay. Yeah. And it looks like we've been out here before. Were you guys out here the last time? Yeah, well, we've, we've, been, here? we've been here for a week. Yeah. How long have we been here? Like 10 days? Like 12 days. Yeah. Any actual fight happen? Anybody hit anybody? No, well, yeah, I swung at him because he was getting in our face and yelling, getting all David Chow. He was the one. They were getting ready to jump inside the, the house. He was the one when they pulled up telling me that whoever's helping Anthony's going to get it too and this and that. And, and they're they going to kill us. And, and So I just took out shit, walking man. and they, you know, That's a threat, man. And there's too many sense. people for me to just be here. How many people? There's about 30 people here. About, I don't know, 10 cars. They said, they said that uh, whoever came just called police and they have everybody arrested for trespassing. Yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. That's property step. now. The signs are out there. It's a new owner. They shouldn't be coming in like that. They got to make wanna, an appointment. They just rushed in. We don't want no problems with nobody. All we yeah. doing is just getting them off of us. There's too many of them. They told us to get out of here or else they're killing us. They're going I don't threaten my life like that. Shit, man, that should be a charge for that. That's why I really hit him, because he was getting all loud in my brother's face, and I was like, back up, like, he was going to do something, so... And now they want to act all stupid. They come over here and bait us like that, man. We're not trespassing nothing. This, just, this is not their property no more. They back. can get their stuff. Get the Why yeah. they, they didn't come by with any sort of legal documentation or anything to get their property? Nothing. They just rushed in, open the gate, and came in like 10, 15 cars deep, like 30, 40 people. We just want to press charges on everybody for yeah. trespassing because they already know they're not even yeah. supposed to come the in. Cops though. already been here before. And let them told them and they keep coming in. Look, all their cars here, the gate was locked, opened up the gate, came right in. No appointment, no nothing, just get out of here or we'll see. Is, is, is this your current address? Yes. And he's just sending people every day, sneaking around and trying to do bullshit. And that's not good. They do their YouTube stuff and put it on that. It's okay. <clears throat> they can record as much as they like. Okay. Don't threat, they can threaten us too and say they're going to kill us too. It's just you have a phone number. 
I tried Q calling him, but I think he's in church. Okay, why don't you come over here? What? Sorry. Okay, why don't you go stand over there by the steps? Okay, do you live here? Yes. Okay. What's going on? Um, basically, this property was uh, illegally sold a couple months ago, and we were evicted last week, finally, despite the property's continued legal debate. Uh, okay, so the you're, you're, you're saying you were evicted? I was evicted, yes. Okay. Did they have eviction paperwork that they served you? I mean, no. I'm a tat David Tat Chow over there is the property owner. Okay. And we are we are either tenants or other gardeners here in this community garden, and we're just coming here to get our stuff back today. And we scheduled an appointment with him yesterday. I called the new owner last week to get our stuff out, and we scheduled an appointment yesterday. It sounded like he canceled this morning, but we only have four days left for the according. Like we only have 15 days to get our stuff out, so we only okay. have four days left, and they've been you not served, letting us get us out. Okay, you were served with eviction paperwork, correct? The owner was, yes. The owner was. Okay. Now, or actually, I'm not sure. They evicted him. It was a surprise to all of us. Usually, okay. when we've been like we've been served with eviction before and had seven days notice, and that time we were not given any notice. I was out uh, like we were out running errands when it happened. Like I've been wearing the same clothes all week. Like it's been 11 days, and they haven't like been able to make an appointment with us. So we we were just coming in okay. here like during our scheduled time to to You're talk to us. You're living in this house right here. I've been living in this house. Yeah. Okay. Were you the only resident in the house? Um, uh, Sarah was also living there. She's got some stuff in there. I don't think. Okay. Do you, ben, do you have any stuff in there? Like, uh, not in the main house that I know of. I'd okay. like to get out a couple of things that are yeah. in the property, but yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, what date were you given the eviction paperwork? Um, uh, I, I, we were evicted on the 13th. The 13th. Yeah. Okay. And then you said you had talked to who again to try and I called Anthony Vasquez the new owner the, the new owner, the new owner uh, to try and get your stuff out right I called him um, two days after that how and much he never called me back how and, much uh, notice between you getting the eviction notice and then you guys moving out or zero it was you were given like, the paperwork and he said you had to be out right yeah, away. Yeah, we never saw the paperwork on that eviction. The sheriffs just showed up and we were, we were kicked out within, you know, a few minutes. Okay, and, and so... And they, they were given a five minutes to collect some things, so whoever was here. So it was other sheriff's deputies that were here yes. that uh, vacate, made you vacate the yes, premises? Yes, Okay. Do you have a event or report number or anything that goes along with that? Um, then I don't know. David would have all, all that kind of paperwork. I've, okay. uh, I've documented things like my phone call to Mr. Vasquez. I put that okay. online even. And when was the last time you stayed here? Um, as of the 13th. I, as I was, of the 13th? Yeah. Okay. So you and came I was here for three months. So you came here anywhere. today? Correct? You uh, came here today? Yes, I, I just came okay. back today. For what reason? To collect my belongings before the date of the 15th during our scheduled appointment with Mr. Vasquez, even though he canceled this morning at the last minute. Okay. So he canceled the last minute, but you guys were already... That's, that's my understanding. That was all through TAT, because he was not responding to our calls at all, um, mm -hmm. and he was insisting... So you came here to collect your things at an agreement between who was it that made the agreement with the current owner? Um, uh, this scheduled appointment was t with Tat yesterday. Tat? Uh, yeah, we were originally trying to get the sheriff's department to come help us who, get our stuff. Who is Tat? Uh, he's the property owner who they they're talking to over there. Uh, he's wearing the hat. And the original property owner uh, from before this. The previous. Yes, yes. And he's been here, you know, 38 of his 42 years. Okay. And so he made an agreement, worked with you, saying, hey, now's a good time to come over and get your stuff. Yeah, correct? yeah. We try to find a time when a lot of us, because there's like 30 different people with property on this farm, you know, on this three acres. So uh, we, we were trying to schedule it into like two sort of four hour chunks. Um, originally, we were going to try to get the sheriff's department to help us do this because we were having so much trouble scheduling at the time to do it. And uh, and, and our, and our uh, I forget his full name, but the Rev is our, our main legal guy and uh he couldn't he couldn't make it happen so so we end up you know hoping we've been trying to we've all we've all had to do try to do this like three times in the last five days and uh and this time we actually had like an appointment with mr vasquez at least until this morning from my understanding with tat but so tat was the one who made the appointment with mr vasquez yes, yeah.
Okay. And then once you guys got here, what happened? Um, well, uh, we, we pretty much just started moving our stuff out, and uh, I, I was emptying my room out in there. I had a, I, I talked quickly with uh, one of the guys who who was here, uh, the the younger guy, and it, it was friendly, you know, like just explaining. I'm just trying to get my stuff, and he he explained where his stuff was and where they were staying, and like not to mess with their stuff. And I said, cool, we shook hands, you know, whatever. It was it was fine, and uh, and then um, I, I don't know the the other uh, the other guy. Uh, and and you, uh, what's your name? Deanna. Deanna. Um, uh, I'm Morgan. <laughs> uh, they arrived, and uh, and then I didn't see what happened here. Um, that, but uh, allegedly, Tat, Tat said that the older gentleman like punch, sucker punched him in uh, in that open area there. But I wasn't here for that, you know. And that's when I'm not sure if the cops were called before that or not. Maybe I before. The cops before I left yeah. my house an hour ago. My brother-in-law was here. He said that uh, uh, one person showed up, and then they left, and then like 15 people came. They started taking things off the land. He didn't know what to do. I called 911. I came over here. It took me an hour to get here. I just met you at the gate. I was speaking to you. We heard commotion. We came over here to see. We've been on the phone with 911 this whole time, and then some officers came down the hill. Physical turnout. Your, your I, I missed it. No, I, I saw a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of shouting afterwards. But okay. But yeah, that's the situation as far as I know. And, okay. and yeah, like I think if, we all want the same thing, but it's like if it was tense. a friendly event, is there a reason why you brought the camera? Um, just because we don't, just you know, we like we're we're sort of amazed by this whole situation. Because um, they put everything on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, and like. And then they uh, switch the voices and they make you say other statements. What? <laughs> Are you kidding? No voices. You can. The the raw footage is in there too. <laughs> you see, you seen us do that? I've seen. On you see YouTube. anything? Oh, on YouTube. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that happens on YouTube, but that's not my style. Like. Okay, you make false charges in this very legal case here. We're we're upset because like he's been here his whole life, and within ten days they've been cutting down trees that you know they have to their credit they have taken care of out of a lot of our plants I didn't really expect them to but like but there's so many trees that have been cut down for the pig I know when he looks lame we've been feeding the chickens we've been watering your animals we've been watering your garden we've been keeping things I mean crews have been coming in and cutting down the trees but that's what the new owner is ordering well if y'all are going to continue watering the garden why is it off um, because the main pipe broke when these people were digging out trees, they broke all the water lines and septic lines. Okay. That's why. Okay. That's just why. Concerned about that. Okay, so it's not maliciously done. It's just a bunch of pipes have busted within the last two days. It's yep. really, really. I imagine it's because of the use of the tractors. So I mean, yeah. like I yeah. said. No, I'm sure we're doing anything. Stop now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Came in, just stormed, no equipment to come get the property, uh, threatening that you know, uh, anybody, here. you know, that they're, they're going to end up or shoot anybody who's uh, uh, helping them. They said just to them. They yes. would sell. They would sell. Uh, just okay. And they were in the house. We told them we've been staying in the house. We got our stuff separate in a separate room. We'll go we'll take our stuff, you know. Yeah. We'll go take our stuff out of our stuff so they can come storm and corner us in there. So, of course, we had to defend ourselves. They were all up on us. Okay, who, who, um, you're not with me, right? No. Who's with you? Did you two guys? Just my these two guys. So, everyone else here and everybody my with wife. cameras. Is, He's all with their group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All the cars that are. None of them live. Yeah. He's trying to press a uh, 242 on him, but uh, judging by what we have here, they have. It's basically, they're creating a mob ring around, right? Yeah, there were five of us right around there. They had a corner. This was happening inside. The reason why I'm showing them is because he was getting them a bus. Okay. Like he was going to do something. Sure. So I just backed them up. That's it. Okay, and you guys weren't trying to tell them they're going to kill us, you know? And threatening us. That's why. I know so many people. He's going to throw us down the river and all kinds of fat ways. Find us down the river. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's all.
man. They don't live here either? No, no none of them. None of them. None of them. Just okay. His wife is here and just me and him right now. The only no. owner here is uh, Red David Chow. He's a previous owner. Okay. He brought everybody else over here. Yeah. Okay. What do you got? Um, this guy has said that the previous tenants that supposedly made arrangements to come get the rest of the belongings. Okay. And when he showed up, then I guess there was an altercation that the guy talked to him. So he didn't do any promotion. Here's the way I see it and see what you guys think. Uh, so these guys apparently have authority to watch the place and reside here. But these people, by their own admission, have been proposed upon, and they're just here trying to get the property before the 15 days are dropped and then their stuff gets put in storage. As I see it, if they were inside this house, which is technically their residence right now, and they come in, he has every right to defend himself should he feel threatened. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, these people at, at this point are actually trespassing and they be told to leave or risk uh, arrest. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Let's do that. Okay, so Hi, did you hear what I said? River. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Did you hear what I said, sir? Uh, yes, but I. Okay, I at mean, this point, you have no legal right to be here. You don't reside here. You don't have stake in this property, correct? Yes, I do have stake in this property. My property okay. is on this but property. But the, the thing is, it's been foreclosed upon. So you don't have legal right to enter that home. We have legal right to get our property back within 15 days. Okay, but, but you have this. to get it from the owner and you have to do it in a manner that's not going to cause. Uh, uh, we've been trying same. for we've been trying okay. for 11 days. Okay, and I understand your frustration if that is, it hasn't happened. Happen, but what we have here is basically they're alleging you guys came in and you they felt threatened now that's a greater crime than saying punching that guy in the shoulder while they're still in the residence so right now you guys are trespassing uh, the best thing we can do right now so everybody can kind of leave peacefully and without any arrest you guys go he has to make arrangements with the owner of the house to come and do it in a lawful manner you, you understand? Yes. Okay. He called the owner of the house yesterday, schedule an appointment for this afternoon. You know afternoon. what? I understand that, but uh, he still doesn't have the right to come in and barge in whenever he wants to take the stuff. He okay? has to be allowed into the property. Right. We, we've been trying I, to get the sheriff's I'm department not to talking help about us your get into the property. I'm not talking about any about that because I understand, but we're dealing with, you know, laws. Okay. Yes. And, so and just, this, because, this just, because he, just because just because the owner are trespassing okay. on the other side of this equation. <laughs> they can't be trespassing if they've been given permission by the legal owner to reside in there and watch the property. But that's under legal debate. Well, at this point, what we have presented before us is they have more right to be here than you guys do. So at this point, you guys are trespassing. Unless you have the owner here present saying, yes, uh, Mr. and Mrs. whoever can go inside and get everything they want. You understand that? Yes. So if you could produce him here now and he says that, then great. If not, you guys are going to have to leave. We've been trying. Okay, right? I understand. Keep how, trying. How do, how do we get the sheriff's department to help us then? Because we've been trying to do that and that's how we want to do uh, it. We, not, want, we don't want any problems. I'm we not just sure want to call the we... sheriff's civil division and see if they can... Uh, uh, set up a uh, standby and see if uh, they can come over and keep the peace while you guys get your stuff right. okay o overall if, if whatever happens if you guys if the owner is not being able to make reasonable replies to you guys as far as getting your property then that's going to be civil matters in which you guys should be taking it up with an attorney to press forward against the owner of the property because he has not afforded you guys ample opportunity to be able to legally get your property out yeah okay but that's something you guys have to take up with a lawyer within the courts you can't just storm a property right okay because otherwise then you know things start getting out of hand and crimes get committed and we don't want that okay your your bottom goal is to get your stuff it's not to cre create problems correct yeah okay yeah, so let's try to do it legally and want. try to do it in a way that How doesn't do create these legally? conflicts yeah. um, you guys just be present while we grab a few more things when you say a few more things what do you mean and, and quite honestly we got about 10 or so minutes we can give you all right that's fine okay great Please, our belongings are already. Uh, you guys want to come with me and, and make sure none of your belongings are okay. disturbed. Please bear in mind, I mean it when I say about 10 minutes. That's what you guys have to leave. Jesus. Okay, do you want me to turn this off and just uh, Yeah, I guess so. Okay.
vehicle. Uh, there's Look, a vehicle off, up there. Off the property. There's, there's an the Explorer up there. A you blue can put Explorer. You see that blue van over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that there's a blue there. van over there. That, that does over have there. room, yeah. See the blue van? <laughs> Alright, watch out, Zat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? It's kind of funny thing. Do you got the, are you taking the van back? Huh? Taking the van back with the dog? Yeah. The dog in the van? Yeah. Alright, you got that? Yeah, I got that. Alright, we're going over the, we're going over the roof. Alright, van. You got moved because we are. Talk to me, lady. <laughs> yeah. They legally have to, though. They legally have to. You have to allow us on the property. I, I know they don't. I know. The property only has to, though. Day 11. Oh good.